guys, welcome back. Today we are, man, we have a busy day today, man. Got the car warming up real quick. We are actually about to go ahead and get some paint because I have a bit of a project to dive into today. So let's go ahead, let's hop in. We're running a little bit late. What's well, new? <laughs> let's go ahead, let's hop in and uh, let's go get some stuff done. Got a nice Porsche Panamera 4 right here. Um, my task, it, oh, okay, first off, it's not mine, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> the plan for this thing, it's, uh, I told you guys about this, uh, that we're actually doing the brake helpers, uh, redoing them because they just look super faded and uh, we can't have that super nice car and I think this whole brake caliper job is gonna make it look 10 times nicer. So if you guys look right here, really, really nice brake setup, but uh, it's super faded. It's um, it really needs some love, so that's what we're here for. <laughs> also, we have like he has um, the Porsche. They're actually a stencil, so we actually have to lay the stencil and paint over it. So a little bit more tricky than like a sticker, like with my with my car. Uh, well, with my uh, CTSV Brembo brakes that I did with the Nismo color scheme. Well, it was just black with the Nismo uh, sticker. I just painted them black laid the sticker on top of the black and then clear coated over all of it and it came out really really good so that was way easier but you know we'll have to go ahead and toss some white paint on it mask the whole thing off and uh, just paint that one little bit but uh, it should look pretty good man the Z definitely needs a bit of love it's just dirty it really needs a cleaning but it's supposed to rain it like the next six days so what are you gonna do um, how do we start this thing right right well there's a key thing here does this key Go in. Oh, it, is this actually the key? Oh, this is the key. The more you know. Hell yeah, man. This thing is nice. Alrighty. So we are actually back to the DSLR. Let me know what you guys prefer. This, the GoPro, maybe a bit of both. Mix here and there. Wait. Is there a button here? Ah, yes. Wait. Maybe not. Yeah, that's fancy, huh? And then we're gonna go under here. We're gonna grab our little fancy little safety lock nut key and uh, go ahead and loosen these wheels. All right guys, so uh, this is multiple days later from when we started off this whole project. Um, got the car here, it's been raining all day. I literally just washed my car like a few hours ago and then after that it started just downboring. Finally cleared up a little bit. I've been getting to work. I got all of the calipers off the car, all four. And uh, I've been going to town and getting them all cleaned and prepped and ready for some paint. Excuse my kind of workstation, this is all I got currently and working with what I got. <laughs> um, everything is all, Sanded I went ahead and hit everything with uh, some red scotch bright as you guys can see we got the big Super big. I mean these are massive uh, Front six piston calipers. We have the rear four pistons right there went ahead degreased them power washed everything um, little top tip I actually went ahead and and realized that the actual threads for the brake line are the same. I think they're like 1 8 NPT. I could be wrong, um, but I went ahead and found a bunch of plugs I had, and I went ahead and just plugged up all of the holes so I won't get any brake fluid kind of leaking into my paint. So that's awesome. Really cool kind of top tip because that's the last thing you want is brake fluid in your paint. I'm just going ahead and clear. You guys can see I'm getting some tape, uh, masking things off. I have one left to do. Big old guys, man, these things are huge. Uh, we have everything all up on our engine hoist and uh, we're all good to go, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up some paint. I'm gonna go clean up. I'm gonna clean up as much as I can right now because it's just, oh, it's so dark too, by the way. So I'm gonna try and get this done as quickly as possible. It's cooling down really fast. You know, I'm like, I'm never satisfied with the videos that I make in here because like, it always doesn't look great, you know? So um, I'm sorry about that. Just want to say that I'm sorry. <laughs> But uh, all right, I'm gonna go ahead. We're actually gonna mix up some paint. The paint we're using is uh, 
Porsche Guard Red is the color code is 027. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and make some paint and let's get to spraying. All right, I got the sun. I think we're about ready to paint. First coat's always a really nice light coat. Uh, I might go ahead and wet the floor down. Kind of see. I don't think I'll be paying too much downwards, but we'll get, we'll see what we can do. So like I'm saying, first coat, barely put anything on there, man. Just a, just a tack coat type deal. Um, hopefully coverage should be okay with the red. It might take a few, a few coats, but uh, we got time, man. We got time. Damn. All right. So, as you guys can clearly see, I went ahead and just did the calipers. Um, just got them done. This was a side job, man. I just want to get it over with and complete as soon as possible. Yeah, man. I actually have a whole video on painting calipers. If you guys want to see, I should have it linked uh, either up top in the corner or down in the description. But if not, just look up painting like, oh God, I'll link it somewhere. <laughs> But I went through the whole process on how I did my calipers, my CTSV Brembos. I did a whole custom paint scheme, but check these guys out. Super, super fresh, man. Crazy, crazy color. It does not show up on camera. It looks way more like white on camera, whereas in person it's, it's, it's a real deep dark. Not a dark, but like a real deep red. I'm super happy with the way they came out. If any of you guys have any paint work, if you guys even just have parts, you can send me. I'll be happy to paint them for you. Uh, I'm very fair with my pricing, but uh, this is gonna this is gonna give this whole car a new look, man. And I also just went ahead and cleaned up his rotors a little bit. Uh, the extra overspray there will just burn right off when we hit the brakes a few times, so it's coming out great, guys. But I've been grinding on this for the past couple days, so uh, I apologize for the lack of content. But you know, it's a, it's a side job making that money. <laughs> so I'm actually just, I, this is actually my last caliper I have to go ahead and bleed. I bled all of the other three, uh, got the rear wheels cleaned up. I got one soaking over there. We gotta clean this one up real nice. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys a tool that I think every single one of you should have. If you work on your car, um, if you guys just, just maintenance, brakes, just, dude, like this is awesome. So this thing right here has saved me so much time and so much hassle. Like literally, I'm not being paid to say this. Like literally this is just me just trying to help you guys um, wrench, you know what I mean? Like get stuff done. So I always used to be the guy that had to ask and wait for a friend, whatever, to help and bleed the brakes. Whatever that may be, if I'm, you know, taking calipers on, putting them on. Uh, so that, that's a bit, you know, it's a bit time consuming. You gotta have a buddy with you. And for me, I'm 90% of the time, I'm solo out here. So. You know, it's it's um it's nice just to have this thing around. So here is our new little buddy. This I don't it's a Capri, I guess, Capri tools. This is a vacuum bleeder. So basically you do need an air compressor of some sorts. Um, I don't remember exactly what pressure it needs. Hang on. It says working pressure. There there that's all you need. So 40 psi. Um, and this is this bleeds everything for us. So we don't need anyone pumping the brakes. I'm gonna show you guys really quick. This will be in my Amazon store, so go ahead and check out the link down below to my Amazon store if you guys wanna go, go ahead and grab this. I think it was like 80 bucks. So it is a little expensive, but it's actually a really nice piece of kit. Like it looks good, it feels good, it's not chintzy, um, it's pretty quality. So I'm gonna show you guys really quick how to use it. Um, sorry, this is gonna be a little tricky to film so low, but we're gonna make it work. So. We have our caliper, I bled this nipple, we have the dual nipples. Uh, I like to bleed the outboard and then the inboard nipple. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and do them twice, just to make sure we're good, but I, I use this for my for bleeding my clutch too, it's incredible. Uh, if you guys are wondering, remember how my clutch used to drop out on us? I bled it with this, that issue is pretty much gone. So, pretty awesome. So you just take this little thing that comes with it, toss it right on the nipple. There you guys see it right there. And you go ahead and grab your, your wrench of choice. Here we got 11 mil. Crack, hang on a second. I'm gonna try and set you guys up a little bit real quick. Just real quick. So, let me see if I can turn this wheel a little bit. Okay. So, 
Once we have that, our compressor is obviously on. You want to attach it, you attach the actual thing to air. Boom, done. And uh, it's not always working, so that's the cool part. It has actually a trigger here. When you pull this trigger, it starts to do the vacuum. So we'll go ahead and we're going to crack this bleeder screw loose. These have probably never been cracked loose ever before in this car's lifetime, so they're a little tight. So now we'll just literally loose it. So now once we have it loosened, hold the handle down and it slowly, it should, there you go. You guys see that? It sucked out all the air. Hopefully you guys can see it. I'm gonna try and get you guys in here. Hopefully you guys can see that stream of fluid. And uh, that is essentially pulling out all of the air and pulling fluid right through it. I like to I like to tighten the nipple before um, releasing the pressure. That way, you don't let any air back into the system. And there you have it, man. It's bled. I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, do this one again just to make sure we're all good to go. And then I'm gonna fire up the car, hit the brakes a few times, see how they feel. All right, that's it, man. Super, super easy. It takes no time, man. Go ahead and check this out if you guys are interested. Literally saves so much time, man. It is, it's awesome. And it's so convenient, dude. Like it's, I don't know. I've always had the issue of just trying to find someone to help me bleed stuff. And here we are. Now we have our own constant, just, just pro bleeder, dude. It's awesome. And obviously make sure uh, you keep your reservoir um, filled up because um, you don't want to run that dry. So that's it though. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to clean up the wheels and um, just big, we got to get the whole car clean because I mean, I can't, I can't deliver it back. It's covered in pollen. I don't know if you guys can tell, but uh, the customer is actually going to be picking it up tomorrow. Um, so very, very happy with the results. I know he's going to be stoked. I cannot believe the difference that just this small little mod made, but definitely go ahead and check out this tool guys. This bleeder is epic. Um, again, if you guys want to see like a full more so in depth video on me painting calipers, go ahead and check out the one where we did our CTSV Brembos. Tomorrow there's an event called Race Wars. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. Giving these things a nice clean up as you guys can see the barrels are just super gross and just a little bit of a simple green degreaser, a bit of soap and water and uh, look at here, look at, look, at, look at the results man, just would you look at it. Uh, they're looking really good, man. Looking really, really good. Damn, what a difference. I'm actually gonna go, uh, I'm about to go get a Frosty. Why not? I don't know, we're just, you know, you take things for a test drive after you work on them. Especially taking the brakes off and stuff like that, so. Oh man, it would be so, I know, one day, one of these are gonna be ours. Maybe not a Panamera, but a Porsche for sure. This is, this is just really nice. We got the, we got the, we got the rear wing up, you guys already know. This, it's really nice back here too. I mean, come on. This thing is super cool. I know this is like nothing what you guys are used to seeing on the channel, but you know what? You gotta love it. Well, I was gonna hit the drive through but there's like eight cars there, so. Man, I guess we're going in. Still want my Frosty, damn it. At least we got a cup holder in this thing. Just make sure these don't go any, don't go anywhere there. You know, this car is nice and all, but uh, would you just look at that thing? Oh, oh, that is. Now that is clean right there. Woo! So I haven't touched my Wendy's yet, which I'm just itching for. I figured I'd just quickly again show you guys the finished look. Way more of a pop, you know? 
Before it was just kind of dull and nothing really stood out, but now, whoo! Looking fire, dude. Just needs a needs a bath now.